Hi guys welcome to my channel. I was in that match and I launched but missed QCF1 here and when I did combo 1% HP left, I thought that I will do that omen demo man that will kill here but I missed. Then I thought what if I went for death fist instead of demo man cause every time doing perfect demo man is not possible. She can come back from here and I will lose that round for my mistake but thanks god. Now let's check it out the same combo in lab that combo I did in match got 51 damage. And with perfect omen demo man it gets 54 damage. But what if I went for death fist there? That gives 52 damage 1% more than simple death fist. That would kill here if I did that there. Death Fist and Demo Man have different damage according to situation. Like with Death Fist Ender here damage is 67 in that combo. That is a long distance combo. And with simple Demo Man in this long combo it is 66. And with Perfect Omen Demo Man the damage becomes 69. So if you know you cannot do perfect omen demo man then death fist is better option as it will give you more damage. Now see if you do a close simple combo then with omen demo man it is 53. With simple demo man it is 50. And with death fist. It is 54. Here death fist ender has more damage than demo man. Because that is short distance combo you can go forward and do death fist for more damage. If you do death fist from a distance after screw then the damage is lesser. And of course in long combo you cannot go close to opponent for death fist. In that combo example you can see the difference too. The result is in close combos always go for death fist as ender and in long range go for perfect omen demo man and if you not sure then death fist is better option. So that's for today thanks for watching. Goodbye.